In this course, I'm going to teach you how to create pages inside the Next.js 13 application, but also how to create sub-pages and catch parameters, even if you have a very long pass with sub-parameters inside this pass. This course is a quick introduction to pages. My application is currently running on localhost 3000, so I got this hello world, and here we can see that I got at the root of my app folder, a layout.tsx. So there's going to be a course about layout coming just after, but what we want to focus on is the pages. So here we see that we got a page.tsx. So here we see that we've got our hello world with the main, and if we look clearly at the code, and I'm going to open it, here we see that we've got the body and we've got the main hello world, okay? So I'm going to zoom a little bit, there we go. So if I come back and I change this main here on this pages dot, uh, page page.tsx, sorry, here we see that here it has been updated and I finally got my div uh, hello world. So we see here that what is display? It's this page.tsx at the root of my app folder. So let's come back on the layout quickly and we see here that I got a layout with the body and I got this inter.class name which is supposed to be the font, there we go. And here what we got, we got these children. So we see that children is actually going to take page.tsx and display it as the main page. So here page.tsx is actually the main page of my application, okay? It's actually the first page of my application, right? Now, let's say that we would like to create another page, and we would like that this page would be uh, under a new URL, and let's say that it's going to be a profile page. So I'm going to come back, and with Next.js 13, what we need to do is to create, actually, inside my app folder that I got up here, a new folder. And in this new folder, what I want to do, I want to write the pass of my page. So let's say that I want to have a slash profile. I'm going to type slash profile. Here, what Next.js is going to understand, it's going to understand that actually, we want to have a page at slash profile. However, we don't get anything in this folder yet. What we need to do is to create a new page. And here, this is a common mistake. What you would do if you do some JavaScript, you would type index.tsx, okay? And inside this index.tsx, you would write your page. However, with Next.js 13, we don't use index.tsx. We use page.tsx. And there we go. So we got our page. And what we would like to do is to do exactly what we got in here. So we got to export by default, okay, a function. And here it's going to be profile, capital uh, P, profile here. And there we go. Here we can export. Next.js understand that we want to export a page. So what we got to do, we got to return some HTML or GSX. And here, what we want to say, we, let's say that we would like to have a deal div and here is going to be my profile page. So let's come back to the app and let's go to slash profile in the URL. I'm going to type enter and there we go. We arrive on a new page and we can see that on this new page, we irritate from the style from our layout. We got a black background. We've got a white text. All the, uh, actually all the style is coming from directly irritated from the body. Why? Because on the top here, we have our global.css file that is coming from here. And here we see that at the root, we've got some CSS include. All right, so that's the first lesson. To create a page, you got to create a new folder and a page.tsx inside. The second lesson is that under your layout, your uh, CSS, your style, is going to be irritated in every page you go, all right? So we see that I got a black background on the main page. If I go on slash profile, I would have it. If I want to have a different style, we're going to create another layout and it's going to be in the next lessons. Of course, I can create as much page as I want, okay? So let's say that actually I would like to create a page with a deeper level, okay? A deeper page level. So let's say that I would like to have a page, not profile, but profile slash 
ID, and I would like to catch this ID. Well, you would do this by nature, you would do profile slash ID, right? However, this is now how it works. When you create a page in Next.js, and we see here that it corrected immediately, when you create a page in Next.js, the name of the folder is actually the first uh, step of your path, right? If I would like to have, let's say, profile Guillaume, uh, and here we will have another under um, page under this like about, and here we would like have a number 12, for instance, for this kind of path here, we would have to create a page profile, okay, with a folder profile, of course, then a folder Guillaume, with a page.tsx, then a folder about with a page.tsx, then here an ID. So that's what we're gonna uh, do now. I'm going to remove this here. Let's say that here I would have a profile, uh, slash profile, slash 12. What I need to do is to create under profile an ID folder and inside in here, what I would like to do is not to put this ID this way. What I need to do is to rename my folder and put it between curly brackets. And here, Next.js understood that here, this is a dynamic variable, okay? Here it's ID, it could be uh, my vi variable, whatever. Here I just put here ID, okay? And under ID, I would like to do exactly the same. So I'm going to type page.tsx, there we go. And to go faster, I'm going just to copy paste this one and coming back in here and my ID, profile page. So here I'm going to change. I'm going to say it's going to be profile ID, for instance. And then I'm going to come back. I'm going to test it. So I'm going to type slash profile slash 12. I type here and we've got my ID profile page. So suddenly we are not on this page. We are on this one. Okay. And I could go like this really deep as much as I want. There is a first comment that we can do about that. It's that the day I'm going to have a lot of pages into my app and I will have a lot of folders inside folders inside folders. I would have a lot of page.tsx, right? Yes, that's the thing. We're going to have, a, every time we're going to have a page, we're going to have a page.tsx at every level and your app will be full of page.tsx. So the tip is that if you want to find quickly uh, uh, the page you are looking for. And here we see that I got a profile just here. And under this, I got a profile ID. With VS Code, when I look for a page here, when I type this, I can type profile here. So here as profile, I got the first page. And then I can type ID. And here we see that I got ID. So this is a quick tip. If you really name well your function under your pages, you will be able to retrieve them faster. Because of course, if you type page.tsx, here I'm going to have all the pages.tsx. And I will not be able to find them really fast. I would have to read every pass that I have in here. So the tip is to give an efficient name. All right, let's say that under ID, I would have uh, another page that would be actually a post page. Okay, and here I'm going to create a new page.tsx, even if it's not mandatory. So I'm going to type this, my uh, uh, ID uh, profiles posts page, there we go. And under this post, I would have a new parameter that would be post ID here, there we go. And I'm going to copy paste and I'm going to create a page.tsx that we got in here. And I'm going to, ah, I forgot here, my profile ID post, there we go. And under this, we're gonna have profile ID posts ID. Okay, let's say that we're gonna give this name. It's not really accurate for now, but Let's just going to give this name. Okay, we got a very deep level here, a very deep intrication of every page. It's not necessarily efficient. It's not necessarily a good practice, but let's work with this to catch the parameters that we want to catch from every page. Because remember, here I passed a parameter, which is the parameter 12. Okay, I got the parameter 12. How do I catch the parameter 12? in the first page. So remember, we've got the profile, we got this page, my profile page, and then we got ID. And I wanna catch in here the parameter. So how do I do this? 
With Next.js 13, we got Next Navigation. Next Navigation helps us to extract the router logic and to use it. So here I'm going to go on the top and I'm going to type import. And here I'm going to import from where? From Next Navigation here. I'm going to import a function called use params. All right. This function use params will help me to catch the parameter of this ID page. So what I need to do, I need to write actually here because I can write JavaScript in here on top. I can write here const params is equal to use params, which is actually a function. And what I want to do, I want to console log the params to see how they look like. And when I come back to my application, I get an error. This error is specifying that use params only work in client components. So basically, I can not use a server component with use params in this case. So what I need to do is to add the use client. We're going to come back on this later in this course. So I'm going to come back to here and I'm going to go on the top. And you will see you will do often this on your Next.js 13 application. You will insert your use client string here on the top to specify that you want to use a client component. OK, so when it's done, I can come back to my app. And here I'm going to inspect. I'm going to go to the console. And we see that I got an object and I got my parameter ID. So I can come back in here and say that I want to catch the param ID that I got in here. So let's come back and we see that this is the number 12, which is the parameter up there. All right, so we just saw how to catch the ID from this profile ID page. However, if I go deeper and here we got the post ID and let's say that we're going to do exactly the same. So I'm going to go to this post ID page. I want to do exactly the same. So I'm going to put on the top here use client and my use params and I'm going to copy paste this. What happens if I do exactly the same? If I want to catch the ID of the parent, is it going to work? So I'm going to go here. I'm going to put a slash and here it's going to be a post. And let's say it's going to be post. And here we're going to put 36 as a number. Well, here we got 12 because I'm catching the ID, the params.id. But we don't catch the params.postid. And remember, that's the point. Here, the variable that you are going to put in the same pass should be different because you want to catch the ID of the profile, then you want to catch the post ID of the profile. So basically here, if I go down and I type params.post ID, I will have at first the post ID. So I'm going just to put that here into comment. And on the top, I would have the uh, params uh, ID. Okay, so I'm going to do this. Let's come back. And here I'm going to update this and look at this. We got the ID, which is 12, and we got the post ID, which is 13. So here we catched what post ID here that you see is actually here the path of the page you are. So from the parent to the children, I can catch actually all the IDs that will be into the parameter of the path of my page. This was the first presentation on how to use pages. During this course, we are going to go deeper on how to use everything we can have as tools to deal with pages, parameters, children, etc., etc. But the main idea is that you are creating all the paths of your application inside your app folder by creating folders and page.tsx page at the root of these folders. We're going to deal later at how we can create components that we are going to call into the pages. But let's quickly have a look on the router for the next lesson.